Okay, I am unboxing my compost bin. There's a few pieces in here. I'm going to assemble it, let you know how the assembly was, and do a review on that, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. But I am now unboxing the compost bin. Stay tuned. Make sure the screws are tight.
put the screws on just fitting, not tight, until I got the whole, all three screws in because there's a pop-in piece. There's two pop-in pieces that have to be popped into this plastic hole here. So I do it loosely in case I have to adjust it. I'm almost done, baby. Huh? I'm almost done. You want to come see? Okay. Are you watching cartoons? Um, I want to fix it. I want to fix it. No, I'm fixing it. You can watch me. You can watch me do it. I know you want to fix it, baby. I'm going to fix it. And now I'm going to tighten them because all three screws are on. This was one here. I'm going to make sure this is tightened. And I'm going to make sure this is tightened. Okay. Right now I'm adding the centerpiece, as you can see, I'm adding the centerpiece, stay tuned. Here you go, compost bin is completed, and it's finished, it almost looks like a bingo bin, G47, <laughs> but uh, you slide it here. And it has two sides. You start off with side number one. Your, and then when you fill it with your compost, then you go to side number two. Let's see if I can put a light on so you can see the inside. It has two sides. And it has a little slide door here. And it spins. There you have it. Shows well. Okay, here you have it. This is the Compost Wizard ECL Tumbler. 
I bought this on Amazon.com for $68.25 and it delivered within two to three days. So the purchase was pretty simple. Great buy, great deal. And I'm not being paid by, by Amazon or any of its affiliates. July. As far as assembling, one to ten, one being the easiest, I would give this a an eight. Uh, reason being, you have to have patience when assembling it because there's lots of uh, tons and tons of screws, and it has to be aligned. And then you have to put the centerpiece in and align it as well. So I can open this up. This center piece here has to be aligned. It all sounds easy, but you may, to make it easier, have two people to work together to assemble it. There's lots and lots of screws. It takes patience, and that's it. So, on a level one to ten, I would give it between a seven and an eight as far as assembly. Um, but once you get assembly, you have a good product. It's strong, it's sturdy, and it shows well. It's a good product. When you set it up, you have to set it up in an area where you get lots of sun. The sun, you need the heat to start the composting process. So make sure you put it in a well, a well lit area where the sun can hit it and you can rotate it. You have to rotate it. Now you can use uh, it, it says in the directions a composting process works best by mixing moist greens with browns in a ratio of approximately two parts brown and one part green. Now what, what it's meaning by greens or it would be like your kitchen scraps, your fresh grass clippings, garden and house plants, stuff like that. Um, also another thing to use in your compost bin are coffee grinds, your used coffee grinds. They are excellent for making topsoil. Um, the browns will be like leaves and sticks, stray, uh, st I'm sorry, straw, hay, stuff like that. So, uh, you also sawdust, but you don't, you never put meats, I want to say this because I've seen someone do this, you never put meats in a compost bin, meats, fats, bones, things like that. Never put dairy products, trash like plastic, wood, ashes invasive plants, weeds, or poison ivy. They do not go in a compost bin. So make sure you're not doing those things. And then you want to keep rotating your bin. And this is easy to rotate from what I'm seeing here. It's very easy to rotate. Look at this. There you have it. It's very eco-friendly. And it's environmentally safe and you can't beat it so again this is my review of the compost wizard ECO so the compost wizard echo tumbler I ordered a line through amazon.com and it comes unassembled as you can see in the video you have to assemble it and all you really need is uh, a screwdriver and a wrench. And that does not come with it, so you make sure you have that. Even if you don't have a wrench, you can use a screwdriver and use your hands to hold the, uh, the nut. So as far as needing items, it only, you, only need, you don't need too many items to assemble it. It just takes patience and preferably two people to make your process easier when assembling it. Again, it shows nice. There you have it. It's ready. Ready to be used. Shows nice. It looks classy in the yard. There you go. And you have the slide door. slide it back spins easy there you have it well until next time make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you look forward to me making give me some ideas that would be great and hit uh, the bell where you can get 
notifications when I upload videos. Thanks again. Another adventure with Lockstar Naturalists.